Can I tell you right now, I do not blame Frank Vogel. Um, I, I have said this over and over and over again, and I will continue to say it. The players are the one that win and lose games for the most part. I believe that unless you have a coach that is totally not qualified at all, that, um, that impacts the players and how they play. To me, it's all about the players. And I, I'm talking about in terms of focus, I'm talking about in terms of motivation, what a disgrace it is, Basin Onions, as a player. What a disgrace it is to feel like you have to be motivated to do your job. It's funny you use the word disgrace. Here's Charles Barkley uh, about a week and a half ago on Bickley and Murata. If y'all fire Frank Vogel, it'll be a disgrace and a travesty. You know, it kind of reminds me exactly what happened with the Lakers. You know, he was great enough coach to win a championship. And then they put that weak, awful lineup together, and they blamed him and Russell Westbrook, and they fired him and treated Westbrook. Uh, look, if you want to look at it from that perspective, I'm sure Frank Vogel's probably like, you know what? <laughs> this is twice where I've been fired. I probably shouldn't have been fired, or at least I'm not the only reason things went wrong. I, I, I do think, I mean, look, last season, they didn't win a playoff game, so... Everybody takes some blame. To me, it's like coaching's probably about a quarter of it. I'd put, I mean, I'm just, I'm splitting it. I'd put some on coaching. I'd put some on players. I'd put some on roster construction coaching and not having matters, a point guard. Luke. Yeah. Coaching matters. It does. And I'd also put a good chunk of it on the injuries. And however you want to divide those things up, I think those four things are contributed to last season. Now, the injuries didn't contribute in the playoffs, unless you're going to say they cut into your continuity all season. But either way, you can't control the injuries and you're, you're not really in a position to blow up this roster. So all you can do is look at the possibility of, of adding a point guard to the mix and firing your head coach. And they've done one of those two things now. Yeah, you know, when, once again, um, supposedly, allegedly, of course, uh, the lack of connection that Frank Vogel had with his players, if in fact he did lose the locker room, um, you know, he, he couldn't motivate these guys. Uh, couldn't focus them, and once again, for me, that is that is what a blight that is on me as a person. If I'm if I'm not motivated and I'm not focused because of you, <laughs> because of you, you're the one to blame. I'm not focused. I'm not. You, listen, if 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 that is the problem, once again, um, you've got big big issues inside that locker room, and this is where I think we are on the Phoenix Suns right now. Well, it's a loser mentality. It's a lack of leadership to say, you've got to motivate me. You've got to allow me to focus. You have to do that instead of doing it yourself. If if that's the issue, then this isn't going to change much. Um, I think if you are a Suns fan, you're banking on the fact that that's not, it's not that cut and dry and that maybe a new coach and a new culture or whatever See, that's will jumpstart exa- things. That's exactly what it is. That's that's what you're doing. You're you're bringing in a new culture mm-hmm. because you have to do something because you can't bring in Frank Vogel because he can't motivate this team. He can't focus this team because he yelled at him. Apparently, that got them all upset. Upset enough where they went out in next game and they played horribly because they were yelled at. At least according to some reports that are out there right now. Look at all of this points back to the player base and audience. To the player. That's what was going wrong. That's what went wrong with this team. It wasn't Frank Vogel. It was inside the locker room, as far as I'm concerned. Well, and I don't I don't necessarily I mean I don't I don't know for sure. So I'm not I'm not like shooting that down. I guess I'm just more trying to figure out now like is this even going to make a difference bringing in Mike Budenholzer? Um, this is Mike Budenholzer in 2021 talking about Giannis, because I will say this, and yes, Frank Vogel had this experience too, but Budenholzer won a title just a couple years ago, and he did it with, you know, would you consider that a big three with Giannis and Drew Holiday and, and Chris Middleton? I mean, yeah. may, maybe not quite as big of a big three in some ways. Oh, a defensive big three. But yeah, I mean, and obviously it won a title, and won our title so first of all Mike Budenholzer has to come here and write that wrong and get the Suns a ring since he ruined uh, their chances in 2021 but this is Budenholzer talking about Giannis and how he became a vocal leader yeah I mean I think his the vocal leadership um, that you're seeing that you're talking about I think has been growing 
you know, at least I can only speak for the last three years, but I, I think, um, a, him just understanding how powerful and how impactful he is, um, you know, and sometimes it's, it's, it's being, um, vocal. It's, it's maybe just, you know, helping teach or, or learn or grow in a moment. Sometimes it might be getting on somebody and all of those things are hard when, you know, it's your teammate, um, people it's, it's not, uh, I think the degree to which teammates want to do those things, um, you know, especially the hard ones, if you're getting on somebody. Uh, but, but I think, you know, his understanding of what we want to do has grown. So when you understand things better then you can communicate better. He said, sometimes it's being vocal. And I heard sometimes it's being vocal. <laughs> yeah. But then <laughs> Frank yelled, he yelled at some people and they didn't like it. Okay. Don't get me started on that. Where, when you compete, by the way, when you compete, are you going to yell at some point in time when you're competing, especially in a physical sport? Are, do, might you yell at somebody? That's part, part of <laughs> oh the my release goodness, of playing I, a physical I can't, sport. I'm, I'm just laughing like hysterically here because I can't even believe this is this is an issue. Um, you just heard Mike Budenholzer talking about Giannis and how he leads, and everything that he does. And the one thing that he emphasized in what he said was the fact that you have to walk up on somebody and say something to somebody mm -hmm. at some point in time, and that's a very hard thing to do. And it is, Mason Onions. You know that it is. But it also has to be done. It's what leaders do. They hold each other accountable. Well, he also talked in that cut about Giannis evolving into that over the course of what did he say three years to get to that point and, and again that cuts from 2021 when the Bucks won the title um, that's <laughs> this is the the downside to hiring Budenholzer if they do this Wolf is we have to keep referring to 2021 which I'm trying to block out the end of 2021 because of the Bucks <laughs> now I gotta go back and talk about the Bucks but it's interesting to hear him talk about a player like Giannis, who was obviously a big name then, yeah. uh, evolving into a leader when the Suns have a Devin Booker that is still, I would argue, evolving. Yeah, you know, um, this is going to be very, very interesting. Job one for Budenholzer, or Bud, as I like to call him. Does, does anyone else call him Bud? Of course. People I, I, call yeah, people him Bud, call him Bud, yeah. Right? That's got to yeah. be his nickname yes. right there, Bud. You know what? His job one has got to be Devin Booker. I honestly bringing Devin Booker along as a leader. Um, again, you don't have to be somebody different. You have to do first before you can say. All you have to be willing to do as a leader is hold yourself to a standard that you're not going to hold anybody else to. And they know you're not going to hold them to your standard. And yet you've got to be willing to walk up on dudes, as you just heard Mike Bodenholzer say about Giannis and challenge them. You have to have that. That's called accountability. And you know what? There's no accountability inside the Suns locker room. And the reason being is because there's no leadership. And that needs to change or you're going to get the same result. Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.